It also says that about utilities, mm -hmm. and generally speaking, they don't do a lot of that either. Okay. Uh, Mr. Hubbard, since we have two chairs, uh, and respectfully, of course, um, is there a way to strengthen our contracts up tied into that verbiage that says if you do not do your own due diligence during the bidding process, you'll actually be responsible for any overages related to that? Yeah, a lot of contracts have a rock clause okay. that actually addresses, you know, hitting an unexpected rock, exactly what happens when that happens. So the answer is yeah. So moving forward as a learning experience, that's something we need to make sure is incorporated in all these sort of projects in the future? In, anytime you dig down, you run that risk. Yeah, absolutely. And so, I mean, what I'm used to is, is like, we have a rock <coughs> clause, and in the past, I've actually specified the price. Yeah. We don't know the quantities, but in that bid table, we'll actually put a price per cubic okay. yard. So we'll be able to so maybe avoid this in the future with some right. verbiage like that? Excellent. Yeah. You wouldn't avoid the cost, you would just... Avoid right, but the, 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 the back and forth of it and the time the piece, yeah. yeah. So there isn't a, a standardized rate for the, the cubic yards of rock that he removed. Is that what you're... I mean, in other words... There, there's no standard rate for it. It, it varies anywhere from, from $50 a cubic yard up to 100 maybe even 120 which is what we use, is 120 uh, trying to come to an agreement. Normally it's 50 to 100. And he's and he's suggesting that it costs how much? $299,000. But I mean, I'm, I'm, the whole the same amount, which is about 900 cubic yards. Right, but I mean, and his rate, if we're at 120, which is the high end, his rate is what? 360. I didn't compute it that way, but it's significant. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're Holy cow! Yeah. Three times. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have further questions? Entertain a motion. I move that we authorize the city administrator to t execute two change orders to the contract for the White Drive sewer project in an amount not to exceed one hundred and fifty two thousand six hundred and one dollars and seventy cents. That's specified. Second. A motion Freeman second Harrison that we authorize the city administrator to exec execute two change orders to the contract for the White Drive sewer project in an amount not to exceed one thousand one hundred fifty two thousand six oh one seventy. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Motion carries. In business item number seven, consider installing consider authorizing the city administrator to execute a contract with Mark One Electric for installation of grounding for the Hillsdale treatment plant and intake and conduit wiring at the intake. Jim. Jim. <laughs> we have had some issues with our pumps at the, the intake for the last two or three years now, and um, we have electrical issues based on the, the conduit was, was damaged um, when it was initially installed. And it was it was patched, and so the you know, the integrity was put back in. Um, but we've had issues with it ever since then. And the um, we're asking to replace that wiring, and in addition to add grounding at the intake and at the and at the treatment plant. Um, the old part of the treatment plant was never grounded per code when it was built back in 1998. Uh, the new half of, of the building that was done in 2006 is grounded. Uh, it was inspected in, in Miami County. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but there is no grounding on the old part. Huh. And the same thing on the intake, because it was installed initially back with 1998. It was just slightly upgraded with the 2006 expansion. So what we're looking to do is to ground the old half of the plant, ground the intake and all the facilities that are there, and replace the wiring between the, the control house and the, the pumps uh, so that we can stop having troubles, hopefully, with, with the pumps, with electrical troubles. Okay. With the presentation being complete, if there's anyone in the audience that would like to make public comment regarding new business item number seven. With no one coming forward, questions for Jim and Brian? Do we have these type of bonding and grounding issues at other areas? I mean, have we? Do we do a regular check and audit of of this type? 
No, it's, it's normal practice to ground it when the, when the structure is, is installed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what happened and why it was not done in 1998, but it was not grounded at that time. Uh, we don't have any other structures who have this type of issues with okay. us that I know of. You say 1898 or 1998? 1998. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it seems like 1898. I don't think the would have allowed it back then either. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are we sure that? Well, first of all, is this the? Didn't we have this item on for lightning or? Uh, that was here. Yep. Oh, that was here. Yeah, okay. That was here. I'm getting, I'm getting my electrical <laughs> problems mixed up. So. Um, then the second question then is, is are we, the conduit you said has been repaired. It was. It sounds like it, when it was installed, it was nicked or something that, or broken. That, that's correct. The conduit was was hit by one of the excavators or something like that at the time it was put in, uh, and it was it was repaired. The, the conduit was patched and put back together, um, but we kind of suspect maybe they hit some of the the, the uh, insulation or something like that. Uh, because it hasn't ever been right since, but we we don't know. So, are you planning on you are planning on fixing that with this as well? Yes, with the uh, wiring would be replaced with this also. Yes, I see. and the conduits. And how how much of a problem has this created as far as man hours and an expense? Uh, dollar wise, I'm not sure, but I know we have put in two stators on on uh, one of the pumps. And we've, we've gone through and re made some electrical repairs on another pump, um, and that's that's just in the last two years. Uh, we have had other issues in the past with one of the three pumps. Don't know whether it was related to this or not, but we're pretty sure the last two years were definitely related to this. And so each stator is at least five thousand uh, dollars for the part not counting the time and labor and everything else that's expended to get it replaced. Jim, there was a pretty good difference in, in the price, I mean, mm -hmm. for, for this amount of money. Is there something, is McGevin's, I mean, they have additional certification. Do you know what those differences are? I'm not sure why there was that much of a difference. Uh, they both seem to be bidding approximately the same thing. You know, we, okay. we did not try to write specifications for this because, frankly, my knowledge of electrical work is practically zip. But uh, both seem to be quoting the same, the same scope thing. of work. Okay. Is it because Mark One we've done business with them previously and they may have given us a better rate for that? Uh, that's quite possible, yes. And Mark One is the, the contractor for our, our annual electrical contract right mm -hmm. now. So uh, I would suspect that they did give us a little better price. Familiarity with our hardware, familiarity with our with our structure and operations. Uh, quite possible, yes. If anyone, if no one has any additional questions, I would entertain a motion. I move we authorize the city administrator to execute a contract with Mark One Electric for installation of grounding at the Hillsdale Treatment Plant and intake and conduit and wiring at the intake in an amount not to exceed $21,558.24. Second. Motion Harrison. Second. Shoot. We authorize the city administrator to execute a contract with Mark One Electric for installation of grounding for the Hillsdale Treatment Plant. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. New business item number eight. Uh, consider authorizing the city administrator to execute a change order with S and R Excavating LLC for additional clay for the pond liner at the Hillsdale Water Treatment Plant. At the Hillsdale Water Treatment Plant, we have two large sludge ponds on the north side of the plant. One's the east pond, one's the west pond. Uh, we try to clean out a pond each year. And in that process over the year, when you get a dozer down there to clean it out, you end up tearing up the lining and removing that as part of the cleaning process. In 2012, the city relined the east pond and the extra clay material that we had was stockpiled for this year when we relined the west pond. Um, we had made some rough calculations on what we thought it would take and what we actually had on site. Um, there was a difference. Um, the contractor was charging us $14 per cubic yard for the clay to be installed, and that total amount for the overrun is $7,182.